summit of Central European leaders in Israel has been cancelled after Poland pulls out over a diplomatic route with Tel Aviv. The Czech Prime Minister Andrzej Babis says the summit may be rescheduled for the second half of this year. The Polish Premier said that his country will not attend a gathering after Israel claimed many Poles had collaborated with the Nazis in World War II. Matus Morawiecki slammed the remarks as unacceptable and racist. On Sunday, Poland also summoned the Israeli ambassador over the issue. Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland and Slovakia had planned to attend the summit on Monday and Tuesday for talks with Israeli officials. Uh, let's discuss this further with Michael Springman, former U.S. diplomat who joins us from Washington, D.C., and also Brecht Junkers, historian and journalist at MASIC, who joins us, uh, or joins us from MASIC, Belgium. Okay, welcome uh, to you both. Uh, let me start with uh, you, Michael Springman. Let's take a look or get a reaction from you first from what the Israeli Prime Minister has said that the Polish um, uh, are guilty of uh, collaborating with the, or cooperating with the Nazis. I want to make sure I have the words correct. This is a direct quote from uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Why is Polish so mad at this? Well, last year Poland had a serious battle over a law to make it a crime to falsely accuse the Polish government and the Polish nation of collaborating with Nazi crimes during the war. And uh, they made a point of noting that Poland was another country occupied by Nazi Germany. And obviously uh, Netanyahu knows this and he simply wants to exert more control uh, over Central Europe. Uh, he's got a, 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 the apartheid entity has a population of 9 million people and they want control over Europe, which has 200 to 300 million people there. Uh, they're using the, the four, the, the, the Theorod four, Hungary, Poland, uh, Czech Republic, and Slovakia to try and split the European Union uh, and get them to end their criticism of Israel and Palestine. Uh, but the issue, of course, is that the, the European Union fully supports Israel. Uh, Germany makes it a crime to criticize Israel and jails people and beats them up in the process for criticizing Israel and, and uh, supporting uh, uh, BDS, the uh, 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 sanctions program. And also uh, the, uh, the French support Israel and uh, the, uh, the Israelis uh, after attacks on France in, in 2015, uh, Charlie Hebdo and the, the various uh, venues like the concert hall and the restaurants, uh, they encourage the migration of Jews from uh, France to Israel. Uh, so it, it, it's beyond arrogance, it's beyond hubris for Netanyahu to do this. Uh, he uh, knows full well that the Europeans uh, have done everything they can for Israel. Uh, the Germans have given them four nuclear capable uh, submarines, and those are four more than the Germans have working in their own fleet. So it, it's, it's beyond belief that uh, he's now trying to. Uh, antagonize the Poles uh, when he should be trying to work with them to try and split the European Union in his treatment of Israel. Well, he's not the only one that antagonized the Poles. Uh, Brett Yonkers, uh, let's look at what the Israeli foreign minister has said. Uh, Mr. Katz, Poles suckled anti-Semitism from their mother's milk, and also Poles took part in the destruction of Jews. Yeah, I think this, this show is clearer than, than everything else that has happened recently what the Israelis are really are really thinking of course Netanyahu has claimed like uh, that he did not mean it like that that he didn't mean all polls but that of course when this person Yisrael Katz who is the uh, representing the foreign ministry of, of of Israel says things like this like this which is absolutely an absolutely ruthless verbal attack against Poland and which it, it, it's an, an, an insult that comes completely out of nowhere uh, and um, really throws extra oil on, on the fire that the Israelis have indeed started themselves for themselves for no apparent reason. I think if anything, this shows the boundless arrogance that we have grown to be accustomed to when it comes to what is to the Israelis. The the arrogance that they are placed in some sort of a unique uh, position in which they always can claim uh, victim mentality, and everyone who 
does not immediately follow them can be accused of anti-Semitism, can, can be somehow, uh, can be accused of, of, of being part in, in, in the crimes against the Jews. We, I believe that, as, uh, being an historian, of course, I, I believe that when you, when you, when you look back at the, at the time period, this is, it, it's interesting, of course, to look at, but the Israelis are abusing this, uh, li like, uh, this abusing this boundlessly. Like, yes, was there a form of Polish um, collaboration definitely there was but in Poland this was much of a much smaller uh, extent than for example in other uh, occupied countries like for example in France uh, or, or in other Eastern European states even and, and actually what of course what Netanyahu does not want to be reminded of is that there was even a very significant uh, Jewish collaboration unit called Unit 13 which was active in the Warsaw Ghetto which were Jews who were coll coll collaborating with the Nazis uh, and were attacking both other Jews and Polish, uh, non-Jewish Poles in uh, during the occupation, the Nazi occupation of Poland. So if, if we are going to start finger pointing, of course we can point the finger at any sort of nation and any sort of race in Europe because everyone has had some Jewish, uh, some anti-Jewish collaborators, some anti-Semitic pro-Nazi collaborators. And yes, there is a lot of to, uh, things to be said regarding the extreme right-wing governments that are ruling over much of Eastern Europe, Poland, and especially, of course, uh, countries like like Hungary nowadays. But um, this 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 recent this completely uncalled for uh, attack, calling all Poles um, innate anti-Semites, like Mr. Katz has said, is is absolutely ridiculous, really, and just shows uh, that that Israel believes that they can basically get away with anything. Yeah, Michael Spreman, try telling uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu that there's uh, uh, Jewish people who collaborated in the, well, with the Nazis. But uh, quickly, uh, in under a minute, Michael Springman, it just appears that Israel owns the Holocaust and what happened to the Jews. And they can direct that politically if they want to and take advantage of it if they wanted to. Because this type of language always, uh, obviously does not warrant uh, diplomatic language towards another country. Do you get that feeling? Oh, exactly right. They, they, they own anti-Semitism. They've created it. Uh, yet 300 million Arabs in the world are also a Semitic people, something which the Israelis and the Zionists conveniently forget. And uh, you've got uh, Netanyahu himself, a murderer, war criminal, and human rights violator. Uh, he's up for re-election in, in, I guess it's April, and it's going to be a close race with, from what people are saying. So he's apparently going out of his way to, uh, if not burn his bridges, to uh, increase his visibility and uh, show that he is working for the, uh, the Zionists and the, uh, the apartheid entity uh, to the best of his ability, no matter what happens to the rest mm -hmm. of the world, no matter what the rest of the world thinks of him and Israel. Thank you for that, Michael Springman, former U.S. diplomat, and thank you, Brett Yonkers, historian and journalist, for your comments. And that brings us to the end of the News Review.